Hi guys and welcome to another iOS tutorial. This is going to be part of our series on MapKit. In our first tutorial we took a really really simple example uh, and created a single view based application with a uh, MK map view object in it. So we basically displayed a map in our application and we tested it out on the similar. In our first tutorial on this actually the map view object within interface builder itself. So in this particular tutorial, what we're going to do is do all of that programmatically. So let's take a look at how you, I've already got my Xcode window open, but let me also pull up the about Xcode dialog window so you can see the version of Xcode that I'm working with. Uh, I'm on version 4.3.2 and I believe this has already been updated. Uh, but as long as you've got version 4.3.2 or some something newer, uh, you should be okay. All right, so let's get started. So like I said, I've got my Xcode window open. I've got uh, I've gone to File New Project, and you'll see here I've got a dialog window. I've got under iOS Application selected, and I can see the different templates that are available as part of the iOS Application section. So we're going to select Single View Application again this time and hit Next. It's going to of course ask me what I'd like to call this, and I'm just going to call this Simple Map Kit. Two, the first one we had called map simple map kit we're gonna set the device family to be iPhone we will leave use storyboards unchecked we do want use automatic reference counting or ARC checked and of course leave include unit tests unchecked for now we're gonna hit next and it's gonna ask us where where we would like to save this and we're just gonna save this on the desktop Hit create and here we go okay so if you watched our first tutorial on this in the series you know that the first thing that we actually want to do is import the map kit framework and we can do that just as soon as um, Xcode is done indexing and processing these files and it looks like it's just about ready to go here and we'll give it one more second and there we are okay so what we want to do of course is select the project name jump over to build phases and link binary with libraries. Now if you've watched the first video and you're watching the second video in succession and wondering why I'm doing this again, well of course I'm creating a new project so this project does not have the uh, MapKit framework and we need that. So we're gonna come over to build phases, open up the accordion for link binary with libraries, click on the plus button and then locate the MapKit framework. So we'll say MapKit and there it is and we hit add. That of course drops it just within our project folder and we can then just drag that and put it in our frameworks folder. Great. Now what we want to do is jump into our view controllers implementation file and what we can do here is actually first thing we want to do is import our map kit header file. So we'll just do that and remove that. It's supposed to be map kit mapkit.h hit command s and that's done great so now that we've got this set up we will actually be working within our view did load method right so let's create our let's create our uh, map view now map views are essentially something called mk map view objects so the way we create them we so we say mk map view and then we'll create something called map view, which is the name of our instance. And then we'll just do a mk map view alloc to allocate some memory. And we can init with frame. And you'll notice that we've got a couple different options here. Uh, we want the third one, which is init with frame and takes a parameter of cg rect. And we'll do that. And then what we want to do here is we actually want to create a CG rec. So we'll say CG rec make and you'll notice that here we've got one highlighted where it takes uh, four different parameters and what we'll do is we'll just set that up. We'll say X and Y we want it to be 0 and 0. That's just the positioning. And then we'll say what do we want the width to be? Well the iPhone's width is 320 so we'll set that and then we'll say the height is 480 because that's what it is. Great. So with this done, what we can do now is close up this method and do a command S and save it. And of course we get a warning and that's simply because we haven't used this particular map view just yet. Okay. So now what we can do is we can actually say map view 
and we can set a couple different properties for this. So we can say, for example, map view dot map type is you know the type of the map that we want to display. So we can set this to map type equals mk map type hybrid or satellite or standard. So we'll just step, go with the standard for now, but just make note that you can always change that if you so if you so desire it. Um, you can also go ahead and check set up whether or not you want the um, the map to be able to zoom. So we'll just say map view for example dot zoom enabled and we this is a boolean value so we can just say yes. Then we can also say map whoop that's not what we want. We want an uppercase yes there we go. We can say map view dot scrollable or scroll enabled and we can set that also to a boolean value of yes. Command S to save and there we go. So we've got the basic setup to now be able to uh, set our uh, map view ob our MK map view object up. Maybe we'll do one more thing here. We'll say map view dot user location and we'll set that to yes as well. Great. Now we have to do one last thing and I keep typing this as a lowercase yes which is not the same as an uppercase boolean yes and doesn't like this for some reason. Let's try this again. Map view dot shows user. Oh, that's why. Okay, so shows user location is actually the property that I wanted. Now, the one last thing that I have to do is add our map view, our MK map view object as a sub view to our view. So the way we do that is we just do say we say self dot view and we say add sub view and it requires a UI view we just pass it map view and there we are now we can actually run this particular project let's just do command R and that'll build and run it and we'll just wait for it to show up in our simulator so give it a couple seconds here it's compiling some header files here we go almost done and see if I can pull up the simulator here we go it should be building coming up any second now. Here we go. And we want to hit yes. And once again, you'll notice that we get that simple map and we also have our location shown. And just like I mentioned in the first tutorial, remember that when you use the simulator, by default, the lo your user location is set to Apple's headquarters in California. So, um, that's why, in case you're wondering, you know, why if you're located in another part of the world, why you constantly show up as California in the simulator. That, well, that's why. Um, and again, I've mentioned this in the other tutorial as well, but if you can definitely, since we've enabled the zoom and the scrolling, we can definitely um, uh, do that. So if you want to zoom in, for example, you press down the option key until you get these two dots. And if you move them further apart, you sort of zoom in. And there we go, you can keep zooming in if you want. Or you can bring them together and sort of zoom out. And of course, the scrolling is enabled because we can actually move from side to side. So this is our simple example as far as the um, map kits and creating MK map view objects. As you can see, you can do this both in Interface Builder and programmatically uh, via the codes. In fact, if we want to show you one last thing before we stop here, uh, let's also try changing this uh, map type. So we said MK map type standard. You notice there's some, a uh, there's a couple other types as well. And we can, for example, try hybrid. Do a command S to save. Command R to run this. And let's take a look at it one more time. And here it comes up in the simulator. And this time you see we've got a hybrid map. And if I press down the option key and zoom in, we get um, a very interesting look uh, for the map itself. So, um, so that works out pretty well. OK, so that's going to be pretty much the end of this tutorial. Um, our logical step moving forward, and this is what we're going to cover in the next tutorial, is of course how we're going to be able to zoom in to a particular set of coordinates um, in this case, we've always defaulted to what the simulator wanted to show, which is Apple's headquarters. But say we had the coordinates for a particular location, 
how would we zoom in to that particular location and what area would we show up would show up in the map view itself so take a look at the next tutorial and we'll go over that in a little bit of detail from there we'll probably build some more and set up a map view where we've got a couple different locations that you can jump between so uh, thanks for watching and we will see you in another tutorial thanks